dear all welcome to the playlist of power electronics in the last session i have discussed about the derivation of reverse recovery current of a power diode and the video link is available in the description box before sol solving this problem it is advisable to refer that particular video then let us come back to this problem let me read out the question the reverse recovery time of a power diode is trr is given by 3 microseconds and the rate of fall of diode current is da by dt that is given by 30 ampere per microseconds determine the following parameters stored charge qrr and a peak reverse current now let us find out what are the data which are which they have given so given data let me write the given data gt given data so we have trr is equal to 3 microsecond trr is equal to 3 microsecond better you convert into si unit so 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 seconds and da by dt that is equal to 30 ampere per microsecond so da by dt 30 ampere per microsecond or you can write 30 ampere per 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 seconds so that is equal to 30 into so this minus move on to upper side it becomes 6 seconds now the first parameter what we are supposed to calculate is the stored charge qrr i would like to calculate the stored charge qrr let us recall the derivation and just find out the expression for trr there is an expression for trr so i'll be moving on the first part so i would like to calculate the stored charges qrr i have to calculate so let me recall the expression trr is given by trr is equal to square root of q qrr by da by dt okay do remember the square root is common okay don't get confused or else i can write trr square equal to trr square equal to 2 qrr by da by dt okay so from this i can able to calculate the value of qrr therefore qrr equal to let me write qrr i'll be keeping qrr in one side then half into half into trr square into da by dt Okay, you can substitute the values. That means half into what is TRR? TRR is equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 6. 3 into 10 to the power minus 6, the whole square into what is DA by DT? DA by DT is nothing but uh, 30 into 10 to the power 6 seconds. 30 into 10 to the power 6 seconds. So please compute the values. Finally, I will be getting the Q, uh, the amount of QRR that is equal to 135 microcooler. So, answer is, I will be writing QRR. The expected answer, QRR should be 135 microcooler. Okay. So, this is the answer for QR. 135 microcooler. Now, let us move on. The computation of IRR. First of all, let us write the expression for IRR. So, we have derived an expression for IRR in the last session that is given by square root of 2 QRR into DA by DT. DA by DT. So, substitute the values. All the values are available right now. 2 into. So, QRR is nothing but 135 microcooler. So, 135 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb into da by dt that is equal to uh, 30 into 10 to the power 6 30 into 10 to the power 6 so please substitute and uh, let me know the answer so after substituting 
then I'll be getting uh, IRR equal to 90 ampere. So the answer, the reverse recovery current is equal to 90 ampere. Even though the power diode is turned off, this much of reverse recovery current flows to the power diode. That is the scenario. So we have computed QRR and IRR. If you are having any queries, you can put up in the comment box. Thank you very much for watching this video.